Well, again, you have to go back and do that research. What is it that the audience wants as opposed to, uh, to simply what you want to deliver? There has to be a compromise there. Mm -hmm. You may have a message or an agenda yourself, but mm -hmm. let's figure out what they need first. Um, I think all good things come in threes, and I try not to have any more than three messages. Mm -hmm. So there's an intro, which always um, is designed to engage the audience and thank them, acknowledge who they are, mm -hmm. what they need from me, so it's very audience focused, mm -hmm. and then three key messages or points that I want to make, and then a conclusion that summarizes those three points and again ends with the audience. Mm -hmm. My favorite um, uh, uh, events are where you get to have audience interaction. Mm -hmm. Do you incorporate that intentionally into your speeches? I try to negotiate that with whoever the organizer is, mm -hmm. um, leaving time for Q&A. Mm -hmm. And anytime anybody's asked me to speak for longer than 10 minutes, I will always say, how about if we spend half of that time with formal remarks and half of the time with Q&A? Mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's, it's not possible for me to give a speech longer than 10 minutes. Hmm. Not possible? I don't think I don't think I'm very effective at it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you you strive for conciseness, obviously. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 